My name is Jake here with another Blaster Review, and today we're going to take a look at the Busby Exterminator. Now, this is an exclusive in-store purchase from Dollar General, and basically what it is is a uh, reworking of the old Tactical Storm, or even more precise, the Adventure Force Eradicator. And the reason you can tell that is real quick, if you have seen a Tactical Storm and an Eradicator, you'll notice mainly, since I have them right here, the two blasters. The two blasters have similar looking but different stocks, and the attachment points are not the same. These stocks are not interchangeable. And the grips. The Eradicator has a larger, chunkier grip compared to the slimmer grip of the Tactical Storm. Ends up leading most people to prefer the Adventure Force Eradicator variant over the Tactical Storm, despite the internals and the performance being absolutely identical. So, good news. The molding of the new Exterminator is based off of the Eradicator. But what makes this different from the previous two? Well, this is now a new packaging that is, again, it is Dollar General exclusive, and as you can see right here, sells for $15. And what you get included is the plaster, two of the interlocking magazines, 20 of the long distance starts, and of course the stock and barrel attachment, which bare bones blaster is basically Busby's slightly higher performance version of the Nerf Retaliator minus any rails. No, it does not have any tactical rails, but just like the Retaliator, this is a top prime, spring powered, magazine fed blaster. Coming in at $15 is a heck of a deal that you get two of the interlocking magazines. And basically, what I'm going to do in this review is kind of go over my previous feelings on the Eradicator and Tactical Storm and see if, outside of the mold, does this share the same high performance that I always came to love from those previous two generation blasters. So let's okay, take well, a look. The rest of the blaster are fully out of the packaging. You take these two magazines, and it's very simple. They have little tabs, it's probably easier to see vertically there, little tabs, you can see them both on the top and on the bottom here, and with magazines here, you just line them up and give a firm press evenly to both sides until you hear a click. And now they're in a lot. Something the Busby did that's quite nice, they didn't charge extra for it, they have just simply incorporated into all of their magazine fed blasters that they are now selling. So if you see the interlocking magazines, you have a current generation blaster. And unlike Nerf, it's not an accessory sold separately, it's just they just added that to all their magazines. Nice little nice little feature for not a single extra penny. But the Exterminator, let's take a look at it. You have a rear stock that is, we'll say to be honest, it's too short. I would love to have seen this be about so long. And it does have a release only on the left side. Locks in place. It's not in your way in any way, shape, or form of you holding it. So, no reason to take it off unless you're just going for a different aesthetic. It has a little squared off cap. And for those of you out there with 3D printers, you'd have to figure out a way to print like a little extension maybe. Or an adapter to go to aftermarket stocks. Busby could really work on that. And Busby, when you, if you watch this video, why don't you offer additional stocks of different lengths? That way you can cater to all users. Like say this be the stock that comes with the blaster and sell an extended length version at you know as a accessory that can be put next to your blasters in the aisle you know other companies have done it and, and been successful with it you guys could too now it does come with 20 of the long distance arts and this is not the improved version which i gave its own video to these are the traditional long distance arts which do have very high performance and they do read high on the chronograph, and they also fly a long ways. This climbs a range of 100 feet, and it does indeed hit those ranges. I'll put that up in a separate video for you, which I'll, I'll film and showcase for you, but I have tested the Eradicator Exterminator and Tactical Storm. They all claim 100 feet, and they will all hit it with their included darts, as well as with Precise Pros. You can also search my channel to see the range test videos featuring these blasters and these darts in the past. But yes, a 100 foot claim, and it does reach it with these darts. The downfall is that these darts have zero accuracy or consistency. I don't recommend them, never have. 
But if you are looking for just extreme range, these do, do these do provide that at least. And a few of the blasters that are coming with the improved darts, they seem to be mostly the target releases. There was never put that was never put on paper, but it seems to be the target releases that have come with that. But once your darts are loaded, prime is back, lock it forward, and fire. And yeah, firing at my target over there. It provides very high rate of fire, very smooth action. It's it's actually quite a bit smoother, and the rattle you're hearing is the magazines. It's a very smooth platform. It's something that I can't I can't really express enough. If you fire a Nerf Retaliator, generally it feels a little rough, you know, in cycling. The Busby Top Prime mechanism is smooth, very smooth. And I would actually say it feels noticeably better than even the blasters I like from Nerf with the Recon Mark II or the Retaliator, which are two of my favorites. This just seems smoother and it does pack a bigger, a bigger punch. I had shots that I put over my chronograph ranging anywhere from 72.6 to 91.1 using a range of Nerf Elites, Busby Long Distance, Aftermarket Waffle Tips, and uh, even Dart Zone Darts. These, uh, these numbers ended up with a overall average of 81.5. Compared to the 70 FPS average of Nerf, that's actually pretty good. And the bigger clue for us is those of us that like to tinker with the blasters is this platform has a enormous amount of potential. So good stock performance, smooth action, and this one actually has very good ergonomics as long as you're not trying to shoulder it. As you can see here, I am really having to choke up on it. Like as you can see, it's to the point of my biceps actually kind of get in the way of me going further in. But um, this right here is too short for an adult. And I, would, I do just wish that Busby would provide options. And I don't necessarily mean an extendable stock, although that would be nice. Just sell me an adult size stock that slips right on. Like, have this included? I certainly wouldn't mind paying five or ten dollars for an additional Busby stock that was an extended length that I could just throw on here. That'd be great. Something Busby could do. And one thing that is missing is, yes, this does actually have a built-in kind of iron sight here. No rail. I really wish this platform had a rail. Just the, the standard Busby one, not anything else, just the Busby rail. Because Busby made a nice ladder sight that came with the Zenith or the thermal sight or their newer red dot sight. I would put one of those three on here and it would be really nice to. And unfortunately this, this platform has never had a rail, whether it was the Tactical Storm, the Eradicator, or now the new Exterminator. So positives real quick and we're going to get to the overall opinion. I absolutely recommend this blaster. It's a fantastic deal at $15 coming with the blaster, with the stock and barrel, two magazines, and 20 darts. These are two 10 round magazines. They've given you enough darts to fill it twice for $15. Keep that in mind. It outperforms any Nerf counterpart. It has smooth, reliable action and good ergonomics as far as the grip. And your foregrip here is basically around the barrel and magazine well. It's comfortable to hold that way. And as long as you're not trying to shoulder it, this actually works well. And with the two interlocking magazines, you can carry, you know, 20 rounds on you. Fantastic. Good performance. 81 and a half foot per second average. And it does actually meet its intended 100 foot range claim. Nothing to complain about other than the few little additions that I would love to see made to this platform, which is one of my favorites currently on the market. The Tactic Storm, before it started to become hard to find, was absolutely one of my favorites. This carries on that tradition, and I can absolutely wholeheartedly recommend it. I'm just passing along a few recommendations that I'd love to see Busby do. Because, surprisingly enough, they do watch my videos, and they are very open to feedback. So, keep that in mind. Let them know in the comment section of this video things you'd like to see and what you think of this blaster yourself, if you already own it. And if you don't, go get one. I, I do mean that. This is a wholehearted recommendation. The only thing that I really wish it had was I do wish they'd put a rail here. I wish it had a lo longer stock option, even if you had to pay for it separately. And 
I wish they'd include the, the Precise Pro Dart still, or their improved Dart variant, which is fantastic as well. But that's pretty much it. For $15, you can't really go wrong with this, as it's a great performing blaster, even stock. And remember, $15. <laughs> There's a whole lot of things you spend $15 on that are just gone. You know, gas, that's only a few gallons of gas anymore. That's, that's just a, a little bit more than a lunch or a dinner. This is something you'll have fun with for a long time to come. And it does what it wants to do, and it does it well, and it also looks good. I like the clean color scheme. And you're going to see a whole lot more of this in future mod videos. And also, I personally use these routinely, at least in the Tactical Storm version, which now has been renamed to the, uh, the Exterminator. Kind of like that name. This is Mungus Jake with my review of Busby's Exterminator, available exclusively in store at Dollar General. I will have a link to where you can look at it, at least, but until they make it an online purchase, it is one that you're going to have to go check out your local store and try to grab one. But thanks for watching, especially if you stuck to the end. This is Mungus Jake saying, till next time.